Hey guys, what's up? World of Games here, and we are diving back into the world of Red Dead Redemption 2, this time talking about Sony's exclusivity over Red Dead Redemption 2. What does it mean? Now, while the game will release on both Xbox One and PS4, don't panic, of course, and more than likely PC later on, yes, there are things you need to know about Sony's exclusivity and how this will tie into new gameplay reveals and, of course, DLC and content. And don't forget, I'm giving away a copy of Red Dead Redemption 2 on a platform of your choosing. How do you enter this giveaway, you ask? Well, all you have to do is like this video, leave a meaningful comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel and you are set. I hope to give away multiple copies during release, so look forward to it. So if you missed it, Sony has officially announced they have partnered with Rockstar Games and Red Dead Redemption 2. Here's what they had to say on their official blog. Handcrafted to take full advantage of the PS4, Red Dead Redemption 2 is an epic tale of life in America's unforgiving heartland. The game's vast and atmospheric world will also provide a foundation for a brand new online multiplayer experience. We are pleased to announce that PS4 players get first access to earn select online content in the vast open world of Red Dead Redemption 2. Check back on PlayStation.blog for more details soon and for all the latest information on Red Dead Redemption 2, end quote, and you can find that blog in the description below. So yes, it seems that PS4 is going to be the place to experience Red Dead Redemption 2 when it first releases. It's unsure how extensive the exclusive content will be if it extends to just skins, missions, but one thing is for sure, it sounds like it will be limited to only the online multiplayer portion of the game. It doesn't sound like exclusivity uh, will be touching the single player, which is very good news in my opinion. And of course, I think we're all extremely curious about this new online experience that they mentioned in the blog. What could this mean? I'm really hoping that they take online to a whole new level, of course, in Red Dead Redemption 2. I think the single player obviously is going to be fantastic to experience. I think it's going to be uh, possibly rival what they did with uh, the first Red Dead Redemption, but yes, I expect the multiplayer to be something very, very special too, and I cannot wait to learn more. I'm hoping that they have something that is a PvE experience, and then you have the option to go into PvP, and it's not like the trolling that we experienced in uh, GTA Online. I hope they have better systems in place to really limit that. But I would expect for the PS4 exclusivity, to be timed and end up on all other platforms eventually that could take six months it could take a month it could take a year i remember when they grabbed exclusivity for destiny it took an entire year uh, for any of the exclusive content to come to destiny of course also sony recently revealed their e3 presentation date which will land monday june 12th at 6 p.m pacific time considering rockstar and sony are officially partnering up I would definitely pay attention to this time and date. Remember, we may get teases around May 18th and May 23rd, as those dates are the anniversary of Red Dead Redemption's release and a financial earnings call from Take Two, respectively. So, guys, mark these dates on your calendar. That's June 12th at 6 p.m. Pacific time uh, for the Sony E3 presentation, then May 18th and May 23rd. Keep your eyes peeled. And since we're on the topic of the PS4, pre-orders are back on Amazon.com for the PS4 version of the game. Yes, this game has been so popular, you may remember they were completely sold out of pre-orders, but thankfully they are back in stock. So that means get to it, pre-order your copy of the PS4. Let me know, guys, are you going to go for digital or are you going to go for the physical copy? What do you prefer? I know a lot of us love the box art, uh, so... That is one good reason uh, to get the physical copy. But guys, now it's time to go over your top comments. Leave a comment down below because it may be featured in upcoming videos. Let's begin. So our first comment comes from a person. What a name there. He goes on to say, dual wield weapons anybody. And this was the most upvoted comment on my previous Red Dead Redemption 2 video. And I totally agree. I would love to see this feature. And it would be cool to also see with the Deadeye mechanic being able to take down two foes eventually at the same time. Can you guys imagine that? So this is something I definitely want to see. And I totally agree with you, a person. 
that dual wielding would be epic to see. Now, G. Bader goes on to say, hope there'll be unique side missions like train robbing, bank robbing, and Indian outposts raiding, and stuff like that. You know what? I really do want to see uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 embrace more missions around the Native Americans. I think that that is what they are going to do simply because it was lacking big time in the first Red Dead Redemption. And it's very appropriate since this is more of the core Wild West experience, whereas the first Red Dead Redemption was, of course, at the tail end of the Wild West. So I really do hope they tap into the Native American culture, show every aspect of this culture, of course. And I think uh, with how Rockstar handled Red Dead Redemption, the first game, I feel like they would respect uh, Native Americans as well, and they could also show how furious they were too. But guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned here for more on Red Dead Redemption 2. And remember, you can enter for a chance to win a copy of Red Dead Redemption 2 when it releases simply by liking this video, leaving a comment down below, and of course, subscribing to the channel. I'll be giving away a copy during its release. I'm hoping I'm crossing my fingers. I can give away more than one copy, so look forward to that. Thanks guys for watching, and I will see you in the wild, wild west.